Hey, Mark here from uh, Bubsy's Dad Enterprises. I'm going to show you how to take this uh, Jefferson Golden Hour Mystery Clock uh, the mechanism down. Because uh, some people have troubles and over time, sometimes the hour hand gets out of sync with the minute hand so it's not showing the, the proper half past time, etc, etc. So we're going to start, uh, it's really critical to get these parts disassembled and reassembled exactly in the right order and the right orientation as we'll show you here because uh, it's, it's very, very critical. So first thing we're going to do is take off the uh, cone nut here. Uh, shouldn't take much effort uh, when I send these clocks out. They haven't been over tightened. It's not necessary. Next, the minute hand. And you can see on the minute hand here, it's got some flat sides to it. And they're going to align later on when we put this back together. They're going to align with the flat sides on this uh, working stem here. So, conical nut, minute hand. The next thing is this copper shaped convex washer we have here. It's critically important that when this gets reassembled that the flat, or the curved side, pardon me, is facing up just like it comes off here. Next we have a more of a gold colored flat washer. And then last we have a fiber washer we can get off easily right and once this is all taken down it's easy for this to drop right out on the back of the clock now this is the hour hand in the gear assembly and you'll see as we rotate this little shaft that the little counterweight there moves around so what we're going to do to start this calibration operation is to move this so that counterweight is hanging straight down. And then if we flip it over it should be pretty close to having these flat sides of this shaft straight up and down with the with the actual wire hand. So also notice here on the back side of it is another fiber washer and that generally doesn't come out uh, once you tighten them the first time it tends to uh, just attach itself to the shaft and that's just fine. So if you can get yourself set up something like this it's, uh, it's a little helpful because uh, the operation otherwise takes a, takes about three hands and we humans aren't uh, really good at that. Now, I'm holding this again, it's up and down. The hour hand is gonna point to 12. The counterweight is down. Then we're gonna very carefully reassemble this in reverse order. So fiber washer, like that. Flat washer, like that. Convex washer, remember the dish part faces upwards, very, very critical. And the minute hand, this could go on either way, but you notice this has a little bit of the remaining uh, radium glow in the dark stuff on it, so that's facing upwards. Uh, the clocks that I'm working on now, I've been replacing that with some uh, black paint. So now comes a little bit of a tricky part. You're gonna put this conical nut back on the shaft and it usually takes a little fiddling around with because there's not a, it's very fine threads. So in this case, oh yeah, we've got it right here. And um, just barely finger tight. You can see I'm not really putting any pressure on it. Now we're gonna move the clock down. And the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna set the minute hand to whatever the current clock time is. So let's just pretend it's, uh, Going to be at half past so we're going to push it to the six now if we take the hands away from the back what we're going to do is flip this hour hand either way it doesn't matter and we notice that each time that we flip it it's going to line up to a different hour and notice already that it's stopping at the half past so let's just do it one more time again and just toss it and right now we're lined up to about 2 30. And with that, just hold it as in position. You might want to just give it another little bit of a tighten. It shouldn't move uh, difficult around there. And that's a little bit too tight. It'll back it off a little ways. And there you have it. We're showing uh, 2.30. You can set it to whatever hour it happens to be. And that's how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, you know how to reach me uh, via email. And uh, take care.